Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am Brianna Lenz and today I am doing a crochet pattern review. Today I will be reviewing Big and Little Chicky Chicken by Mama Made Minis in collaboration with Pine and Poppy Stitched with Love. This is a paid for pattern. I purchased this myself. They have no idea who I am. And the pattern was $12 on Etsy. You get a big chicken and a little chicken pattern. Um, that is probably the most expensive crochet pattern I've ever purchased. However, I was very happily crocheting this for a very close person to the family. And so part of the cost was buying the pattern. And I have to say, I absolutely love the result of the items that I made. And so I do, even though it is very costly for a crochet pattern, in my opinion, I do think that it's worth it if you do intend on making this repeatedly, or if you do uh, intend to gift this, you can just put it as part of the um, gift price. And even if you just wanna make it for yourself, it's always wonderful to support a fellow crochet designer because we all need uh, a little bread and butter, right? It's our bread and butter as crochet designers. And I'm very happy as well to support another crochet designer, especially one who has so many wonderful, wonderful patterns. So today I will be showing you, I has, oh, been impaled. This is the big chicken. So what this is, is that it's a stuffy that is unstuffed. And I have never seen these before a couple months ago. I don't know, apparently like where I fall into the crochet community, like I just hadn't seen this before. And these are very, very, very popular as well as all are the soft plushies right now, which I, I know they've been popular for for a while, but these um, like blanket unstuffed stuffies are absolutely worth the hype because it is so adorable. I had so much fun making this. So the first one that I made is this big one in the muted colors. It's got these little feathers on the butt, which you don't see in the uh, front of the pattern. And it, uh, if you hear little like, boop, 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 boop. that's not your mind like doing some psychosis. Like I'm thinking of chickens, I'm hearing chickens. No, I've got ducklings right next to me and they hear me in the room. And so they're being more vocal because they hear me. So I'm sorry if that's distracting to you, but I have chickens and ducks and dogs and pigs and cats. And um, I felt like being in this room, like, I've got fishing poles in the background. Those are nesting boxes that are gonna be going into my chicken tractor. So anyway, so this is the big one. And in comparison, this is my torso. Pretty big. So really, really cute. I'm gonna go into more detail, but I wanna show you the other one. So this is the little chicky, and I did this one in light gray. How cute, in the muted colors. I think this is super on trend with the color scheme. It is so sweet, so cute. If you're looking to make a pattern that I think will sell well at a craft fair, this is it. If you um, are looking to gift something for a baby shower, this is it. If you just wanna gift this for a Christmas present, this is it. <laughs> I absolutely think it is so adorable. I love it, love it, love it so very much. So this one is much smaller, whipped up much faster, and is so soft. And again, it is unstuffed. So typically you would stuff this with like a polyfill, which I did for the head. The head is stuffed and the body is unstuffed. The wings are unstuffed and the legs are unstuffed. The legs are knotted. And again, look, the little, the little butt. So here is a size comparison for the big and little chicky. Let's see. So I'm holding them up head to head. Body to body. <laughs> this sounds weird. Sounds like a 90s song. And then foot to foot. And here are the backs too. Whoop! Sorry, little little dude. So my thoughts 
on giving this as a gift is that the big chicky can be a stuffy that stays in the little kids. Um, so the people that I am making this for are being extremely private until the baby's born. So the, the little, the little baby can have this in their room that stays in their room and is super cute. And in my opinion, not, not to toot my own horn here, but toot too, super cute. I mean, just the color scheme is right off of their pattern. I didn't take, I'm not taking credit for the colors, but dang, is this not aesthetic? Like if I were an influencer, which I am not, but if I were an influencer for like one of those big homeschool influencers, one of those big um, homestead influencers, I would absolutely want this in my back, in my background. I think that'd be really, really cute. And so I chose to do the light gray. Oh my gosh, that's my cat. Tom, stop. He hears me, so he's pawing at the door. He's, now he's meowing. You're okay, Tom. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> it's funny. I'm not gonna edit that out either. That's just life. My cat paws at the door. If we're in here and he feels left out, we have their barn cat, so they stay outside. And if he feels like we haven't shown him enough love, then he paws at the door. Anyway, so. This one is, in my mind, the one that the little baby's going to snuggle and love and take with it and want to slobber on and eat and just hold on and have it as an heirloom that it gives to its great-granddaughter as, the, oh, it's given this as a bait, you know. Don't we all think that is like if we're going to make something to gift? But no, but really, I do hope that um, this is a stuffy that the child does love, that the parents allow it, the baby to cuddle and love. And um, if not, then I hope it just gets put away on a shelf. It's super cute and then gets passed on to, you know, just gets hold on, held on to because we, you know, we should all value our work so highly. <laughs> so anyway, how cute, right? Okay, so let me go ahead and tell you again, it was $12 because I like to, to know if it's a free pattern or if it's paid for pattern, absolutely worth the price. Highly, highly recommend it very clear and easy to read and understand. I, I would give that a B plus only because um, some of it you just kind of have to intuitively be like, I'm going to sew these pieces together and I'm pretty sure I'm doing this correctly. And if you don't know, then you just rip it out and go for it. So have confidence in yourself. And I, I, I'm going to give it an A minus, which is pretty good. And it is very beautiful. Tom, I am so sorry about that. I uh, <laughs> I uh, gave it some bribery to go leave me alone, which I don't normally do because it creates bad habits, but that was ridiculous. So anyway, the pattern is really cute, super aesthetic as well. If that's something that you are interested in, I was able to follow it really clearly on my phone without having to print it out. I actually printed it out just for the video so you could see how well produced this is. I, this is new to me for, uh, for you to buy a pattern that is so colorful in the background. I'm not going to give anything away. Just like a, you see, like it had like color blocking in the background. And that is something also that I'm seeing um, new as part of like a instant download pattern is that you're paying for someone to also make it beautifully and creative as like as an enjoyable experience going through their pattern as well as like instead of just like blank, which is something that I have now started doing. Like I am I am uploading crochet patterns on my Etsy shop, Brianna Lent shop Etsy. And so if you're going to go from um, going away from the uh, free pattern that I might have on my website to buy the ad free instant download on my website, then I'm going to jazz it up too. I'm going to make the experience really nice because a lot of us are probably just working on our phones or our iPads and not even printing it out. So why not have it be a beautiful experience? So that to me was a lovely thing and was very inspirational because I saw this and I have since done other pattern downloads and I'm like, oh yeah, this is great. So now that's something that I do in my patterns as well. So let's talk more about what do we need for this to be made. Um, a very popular brand of yarn to use for these is a Premier Yarn, 
which I have never used. I don't know how to make this like not be falling over, but it's better to have it in the background than we're just, they look like they've fallen over from the heat. Oh boy. Um, that's just the way they are. They're just chilling. So we'll just, we'll just put them there. Uh, so for this pattern, you need a seven millimeter hook and an eight millimeter hook, which uh, I, I know I was just talking about yarn, but let me just pause here for a second. Seven millimeter hook. I have never in my life needed a seven millimeter hook. I have heard of a six and a half millimeter hook, which is a K and an eight millimeter hook, which is a, no. Yeah, K and an L. So in America, we have the K hook, which is 6.5 millimeter. Then you have the L hook, no, yes, the L hook, which is the 8.0 millimeter hook. And I have had those and I have seen them places. I have never before had a pattern ask for a seven millimeter hook. Now, I put this on my Instagram. You might've seen my reel because this is close to viral as I may ever get. I've had close to 100,000 views on this reel, over 3,000 likes, toot toot, my own horn. And <clears throat> all I did was I was at Walmart, I had been to Hobby Lobby, and I was just trying to pick up a seven millimeter hook real quick because I had thought, oh, well, what's the big deal? I'll go ahead and crochet it with the hooks that I have in my stash. And I was not pleased. It was way too loose. Size matters, ladies and gentlemen, size matters. Do you see how much bigger this is? And it's just like the, the fabric isn't right. This is such a better quality, um, just such a better item. And so using the seven millimeter hook was absolutely necessary. And just going up to a size nine hook, which is this nine millimeter hook was way, way, way too big. I tried doing it with like a, and even like a smaller, smaller hook and it was way too small especially since this was the my first time using this type of yarn. So anyway, um, the only way that I could purchase a seven millimeter hook was off of Amazon, which I did. I purchased the Clover Amour hook and you can buy these in sets and get a seven millimeter hook, but I have so many crochet hooks. I just didn't want to. And I already love the Clover Amour hooks, which is what this is. And so for, I think close to $8, I chose to get a single hook instead of a whole set of hooks with a brand and type that I know and I love and that um, I will now have close to a complete set of the Clover and More hooks, which I very, very much love. So if you have never heard of a seven millimeter hook, which apparently a lot, it, it was, it was a hot debate in the comments. I would say three fourths of the people that came across my reel absolutely heard a seven millimeter hook. Some people made me feel like an idiot because I hadn't heard of it. It's very common overseas. It's very common in the European si sizes. Um, prim hooks apparently are very popular. There was a lot of very, very uh, useful information. And of course me, I'm just a dumb American. I didn't know. Um, but when you're going off of like the normal standards of what, like if you've been crocheting for at least 10 years and never having to had used a size seven millimeter hook, I pose the question, is this new or have I just not needed to? It's not ignorance, it's just the fact that I never used it. I never needed a seven millimeter hook. However, the crochet stuffies have become exceptionally popular, I would say in the last four years. Like there has been a huge change in the crochet community from where there were barely any crochet garments besides the 70s and 80s and 90s booklets, um, even back in like 2014, to then there was like this huge rush of like, there's a whole bunch of crochet sweaters, a whole bunch of crochet things and blankets especially. Now the last four years have been a lot of different crochet plushies. It's been a great revenue for crochet designers and, and the younger generation has especially been willing to make free patterns on Instagram. And so since the pandemic, I believe a lot of new people have learned how to crochet, how to figure out how to make crochet money on the internet and how to sell plushies at craft fairs and make a side hustle. Good for them, by the way, get, get it going, get the bag. I love it. So I'm, I just thought it was very interesting. So a seven millimeter hook is very common, especially for these crochet plushies. And it is absolutely a wonderful hook. If you don't have this size hook in your stash already, 
buy it because you just might need it. Um, and an L 8.0 millimeter. So anyway, all that to say was exactly what I said. Uh, the yarn that I used is I used yarn from Hobby Lobby because your girl loves Hobby Lobby and it's easy. I don't have a local Joann's. I don't have a local Michael's. I can buy off the internet if I want to, which I have. However, Hobby Lobby is right down the street. Thank goodness that this was only like recently in the last year. Um, and so I like Hobby Lobby. I like it a lot and I like their yarn. And so I used the yarn B and I was able to get this at 30% off. And I am using the Yarn B Cozy Occasion. So I am using the Cozy Occasion in the color Ivory. Everything that I'm using will be listed in the linked post on my website. I will have a full review and everything that I used. If you would like to make this pattern and everything that I did to have the same effect or look or whatever, um, all the details will be linked down below to BriannaLentz.com in my pattern review that I will have written there with even probably more details and pictures. So again, I'm using the Cozy Occasion, which is this blanket type yarn. And uh, this is the color Ivory. This chicken is crocheted in the color light gray. The comb is what is on top of the chicken and this is in cranberry. And then the beak and the feet are crocheted using the color mustard. Very simple uh, for this chicken right here, I was able to use one skein of the Cozy Occasion. And I had, uh, all that I had left was 15 grams, which is right here. Um, I have used this for two combs. So here's a good size of it. I had 15 grams left in the light gray, and that is in my gauge. So I, I'm not sure if you make this, if you will need more than that, but I would say you're pretty good banking on one and the, a lot of the colors are pretty consistent. So one skein for the small one, I needed two skeins of the ivory for the chicken, for the, for the big chicken. And so that made it, let's see, it was 5.99, 30% off, six times three is $1.80. So 4.20, let's just say for 4.20 um, for this for the body and then if you're going to make multiple this mustard will go far and the comb will go far so this is what i have left after three beaks because i did have my mess up and then two things of the feet so you could probably get three to four different burrs out of one skein of this and you can get a ton of combs made from the cranberry i'm very very happy with the colors i chose they have other colors available but i liked this a lot it gives it a very prim look. It gives it a very uh, modern aesthetic and that homestead chicken vibe that we are all loving right now. So that is what I used. And like I said, um, size does matter because if you go bigger, it will get bigger. And I just think that the holes are way, way, way too big. The other thing that I used for the big chicken, um, they asked for 16 millimeter crochet uh, safety eyes. 60 millimeter safety eyes. I didn't have any. I'm probably going to end up purchasing some to have in my stash from Amazon, which you can get just a full thing of the 60 millimeter eyes. But I use 14 millimeter eyes on both of them because I had this set from Amazon. And uh, all of these down here are the 14 millimeter sizes. So I will continue to use this until I run out. So yeah, so for this pattern, I had to buy the L hook only because I didn't have it on hand. I bought the uh, yarn, which of course I buy on 30% off sale. And that was it. And I used regular old polyfill for the heads. And it was really simple. I think that even a beginner can do this. Absolutely. Now, the, the thing that I had never done before was I had never knotted the legs and I can't get it perfect, which bothers me, but is also, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And the wings are pretty cute. I think the wings are really, really adorable. I like the feathers on the butt. I think that's absolutely such a cute, cute detail. Um, I think that the beak is pretty good. The comb is absolutely, it's spot on. The beak is okay. And um, the eyes and the pattern, I think, um, I didn't agree with where they said to place the eyes on the pattern. So I changed mine a little bit and I'm very happy. So, um, but you know, 
to each their own on that one. So yeah, so that is the, yeah, so they use Premier yarn and they use Bernat blanket yarn, which is extremely, extremely popular when you're crocheting stuffies. And again, I didn't have it and um, price comparison, it's about the same, I think, if you buy the, the Bernat or if you buy this. And I just had that readily available to me to purchase and I'm very happy I would buy it again and I would work with it again. I was very happy working with this yarn. So there you have it. Um, I think it's absolutely so, so cute. Uh, this chicken right here as a time estimate probably took me about three and a half hours to make. This guy probably took me closer to five to six hours to make. I had to take a big break from making him because I was so enthralled with making him and I wasn't used to the size yarn that I'm working with. And I gave myself a really bad uh, case of like giving myself stress in my hands and my wrists. I had to take like a week off of crocheting. And then I ended up taking quite a couple, like three or four weeks um, from finishing him because I just, I couldn't roach out my hands because I've had too much stuff that I'm trying to get out. So I'm very happy um, though. I was able to finish this in about three and a half, four hours and I just made myself take a lot of breaks. So if you feel like you're really like causing tension problems in your hands, give yourself lots of breaks. You don't have to race anybody but yourself. So if you do have those tension problems or it's just for some reason you can't crochet all day, all night, like some people can, good for them, I can't, um, you know, it's okay. Just give yourself a lot of breaks, give yourself stretches. So here you go. I, again, I highly recommend, highly recommend. Everything will be linked. This pattern will be linked down below. I, I hope that you enjoyed today's video. It was so much fun. I can't wait to gift this. My daughters want me to make another one. And um, let, let me know down below if there's a pattern that you would like me to make and see what I think of. Or if you just see something on Pinterest that you're like, this is kind of random. I bet Brianna would love to make it. Let me know because I love that stuff. And I have some crochet kit reviews coming out soon. Um, people have been asking me for those. So I have probably a Harry Potter one that I would like to do next. So if that's something that would interest you, make sure that you're subscribed because that makes you know that I have uploaded a video. Ta-da, I am here. Please like this video so that other people can find all of the crochet goodness and cross stitch goodness that I have on my channel. And I really appreciate your time, you guys. Go ahead and give Mama Made Minnie some love because she really did make a bomb pattern. And thanks again. And I'll see you guys in the next project and in the next video. Bye.